and getting some decent speed and here we go slow it down oh my goodness it ripped off uh actually blew out some of the tires and oh <gasps> So today we're going to be checking out a new map by Spieler and it's the Blades Playground and folks we're going to be trying to cut vehicles in half. We have a car blender and we're going to use a thousand degree knife on a car just like the good old days on YouTube. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay so we're ready with another Spieler map here today and you know what I'm excited. So we're going to start off here immediately with the D-Series truck. So I want to find a good baseline vehicle that I think I could split in half. Now there are certain vehicles in BMG that naturally do, uh, like the Chintilla, the Bolide, they all have a separation point in the middle, but can we go fast enough in this game to force it on a vehicle that normally can't do it? And here we go with the axe and, oh! Oh, well that didn't turn out like I thought it was going to. So I feel like the D-Series is a good test bed for almost everything here in BMG Drive, but I'm not really sure uh, it's ready for this particular challenge. We might need to go a little bit faster. So instead of the using the base D series, we need speed, and I know we have a drag racing one. All right, so here we go. Can we split this one horizontally, and then we've got a vertical axe over to the side, and then we've got a bunch of other random things, including uh, the really, really hot knife, which I don't know what that's going to do, and here we go. Well, I wouldn't say that's cutting it in half, but it definitely stripped... Wait, that was a clean... Hold, hold on. Wait. Dude, that was a clean strip of the body except for, like, the front bumper and the grill. Dude, this thing still runs just fine. Well, I can go ahead and test out one of the other things here. Uh, this is one of the little water launchers, and oh my goodness, that is not stable at all. Uh, yeah, there's blades at the end of this, but I don't think we're going to hit it. Okay. Uh, consider me impressed, but... I want to cut this thing down the middle. Yeah, the reason I'm going with this, it's tall. I feel like certain obstacles might be a little uh, too tall for cars. So I feel like this might be one of the perfect things to use here. All right, so we want to aim for the center of this. Can we get enough speed? If not, we can go find something with Jados on it to see if we can force it through. And oh my goodness. Uh, this is going to be beautiful and holy. Yep, that stopped. Uh, do you think it's the roll cage? Maybe not enough speed. Yeah, I'm not sure we can force this. We're gonna keep trying though. Okay, so we have two cars here. We have the Shintilla and we have the SBR4. Uh, we're gonna use the electric version. This thing's got insane acceleration here. So this is a car that doesn't split in the game, but can we pick up enough speed in this thing to force the split? Uh, here we go, slow it down, aim right for the center. This is gonna be satisfying. Oh my goodness, it almost goes all the way to the back of the vehicle. Hold on, so if we were to pull this out, what does it look like? Is it like a perfect cut? Is it a nice split? Come on, give it a, oh my goodness. So you can see where it went up through the center of it. Wow, it bent the wheels. Yeah, we're gonna need like ludicrous speed in order to actually do that. Now, thankfully, we do have downhill versions of all of these. Uh, maybe the extra speed there uh, would help, but you know what for a control test? I do want to try out the Chintilla. So yeah, this thing normally splits on the side right behind the door uh, So it might just fling itself around. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see here though. Oh Yeah, aim right for it. All right lining it up. Oh, this is gonna be nice All right, hit the bumper first and oh <laughs> Man, it is so close to going through. Like, I feel like you have to have more speed. Now, if it goes through, I, I think there's going to be ultimately a stopping point, right? Uh, does it, like, hang on the bumper? I feel like it's getting stuck on the engine. Uh, that was clean, though. I got to admit. Like, that looks awesome. So maybe the SBR4 and the Chantilla are the two tests that we need to run. So if you guys have any ideas for even, like, mods you'd like to see on this map... Uh, comment down below. We can always come back to this. So we have the straight up knife. Uh, this one I feel like they're going to get stuck on, but I do like the idea of the big sword. So we did this with the train, and I think the train went through it completely. So I'm pretty excited about that one. So the knife, let's just go ahead and try it with the chintilla. Okay, here we go. I always put it in slow motion right before, that way I can just fine tune the aim. Uh, make sure I'm pretty close to dead center. And Oh, we're going to go under it. Oh, Yep. Yeah, I, I felt like 
this wasn't gonna work with the knife. Uh, it actually didn't work with the train either. It got stuck in a similar manner. So, knife, no go. So here's a question. Is the sword low enough to cut through the Chantilla or do we have to switch back to a D series? Oh, I think it's low enough. Okay, I'm gonna turn it a little to the left. Uh, about 156. Oh my goodness. And there it go. Oh, it just cuts off the roof. I honestly don't think this thing's that much taller than the uh, other one. I mean, it might be a D series car. Uh, the train was perfect for it because it was really, really nice and tall. You know, I could probably go into the editor and lower it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, cause it's, what the? Yeah, it kinda goes through the window. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the editor real quick. I can probably lower this. Not gonna lie, this might be one of the most satisfying episodes of BMG Drive I've ever done. All right, so here we go with the SBR4. I've lowered the sword, so I feel like it's gonna be more direct into uh, the, I guess you can call it the front compartment. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so we have officially broken the game because that's not going to be a solid cut. Would it be so cool if you could cut stuff in here? I mean, right now we're just trying to glitch it out and force it, but I, I definitely think it's not. <laughs> it's not a thing. Like, it's actually stuck on it. Like, if I were to pull it off to the side, it's not going to be perfectly cut. It's actually warped into it right now. <laughs> oh, it's still cool looking, though. So we've got a razor blade for this one. How thin is this? I mean, that's a pretty thin blade. If you hit that at a high rate of speed, I I'd like to go through one of these. Okay, here we go. Razor blade test. Let's see what this does. Oh, we are moving fast. Don't really need to aim this one. Oh, it might be over. Oh my goodness. Oh, it got caught. Oh, you know what? The, the little, uh, where it kind of comes out, I think it caught the car because it released it and it was able to go up and then immediately got stuck on the other side of the blade. All right, let's move it down. Okay, here we go. Uh, next shot, full speed. Oh, wait, we just passed through it. It took the whole rear section off. So did we just prove that if you travel through something fast enough in the game, you just go through it? Like it did rip the right door off and it ripped the, uh, basically the whole tail section, except for the left rear fender. What? I am confused. Okay, well, you know what? I, I think this deserves... I don't know what the saw blade's gonna do. I feel like you're just gonna get stuck in those. Uh, they've got a bigger one. They do have the spikes here. We've used these before. But I am curious about the hot knives. Then I think we have to use the downhill to our advantage because we need speed uh, when we do this. So here we go with... The, I guess we'll call it the thousand degree knife challenge like everybody was doing on YouTube in the... Uh, mid i think it was like the mid 2010s like i want to say like 2016 2017 i think when i first showed on youtube it was still a thing and oh okay that was kind of cool looking not gonna lie not a clean cut man if you could slide the vehicle sideways into it you could totally cut it in half uh shall we try that i mean it's got a cut point on it okay can komodo use his skills to throw this thing sideways uh that's gonna be questionable. It might be easier to do on the other one. Actually, this one, we need the straight up and down knife. All right, here we go. And, oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, I got an idea as to where I need to be though. Okay, thousand degree knife versus chintilla. Now, yes. Did, wait, did we get the clean cut on? Holy man, we did it. <laughs> I mean, it's a really easy split point on this vehicle. Uh, you've seen some of the violent crashes when we hit something and it blows in half. I didn't think on the second try I was able to actually slide it through the blade. All right, well, we do have uh, this version of the hot knife, too. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, here we go. I do like the little uh, fired explosion effect Spieler's added. Uh, I feel like we need to do this with some big vehicles, too. Uh, I think we've already proved that I don't like moving fast enough. Like, either it glitches through. That was kind of cool. Or it just doesn't really work. So why not just use something huge and satisfying, like maybe a bus? Uh, a Jado bus, and then we'll go to the downhill, and uh, of course we got other pokey things we get to throw this into. It's really just a ridiculous playground, and then uh, there is the, the speed river challenge. Uh, yeah, that's just gonna accelerate it a lot. I don't think it's gonna be stay stable though. I don't think you'll be able to get a clean like up and down cut on the cars. Okay, hero bus, how much speed are we gonna get uh, before we get there? That's pretty low knife. Uh, I think it's gonna go through. Can we go completely through is the question though. Oh, buddy. Oh! Yep. That is a confirmed no. My goodness, you can see the force, though. Like, it, the whole back of the bus is at the knife. 
Uh, there was a front of the bus with a lot of seats in here, and it's almost completely gone. There's the cape. I mean, I hope you guys want some pretty satisfying crunches today. All right, so we're going to use the chainsaw blades. Uh, they don't move. Uh, if they would move, that would be kind of cool, but I don't know how possible that is. Uh, that might be a little too much to ask, and there we go. I mean, it was still kind of cool. Like, but could you imagine if it was going right now? It would probably drag it under and send it out the top. And then I guess it would be a shame if we didn't do the spikes. Somebody's going to say, like, Komodo, you didn't do the spikes. They're nice, shiny, and pointy. Well, you know what? We're not here to upset the crowd. Let's go ahead and go for it real quick. And here we go. Yep, that's about how I expected it to look. <laughs> yeah, I think you carry so much momentum, the spikes don't have time to slow you down. Oh, it's so good, though. Okay, so the objective here is to obviously have more speed because you're going downhill. Uh, I wonder, I think I'm going to do the axe here. This is probably my favorite one, which, by the way, what is your guy's favorite one? Uh, it's got to go the axe and then probably the, the knives, uh, the thousand degree ones, because it's just cool. Uh, and it's funny. It takes me back to a, a really fun time on YouTube. And when I mean fun time, there was a, a bunch of horrible clickbait videos on it. But there were some legit, like, kind of satisfying uh, knife uh, cutting videos that weren't all completely fake. Okay, so let's hope this extra speed is going to do us good here. We don't want to go full speed over the, the little hill here, though, because you don't want to get air. Uh, oh, my goodness, I still got air. All right, we're good. All right, here we go. we got to hit the brakes over this. You don't want to get air uh, going down that, but here we go. What kind of speed are we going to get here? Going downhill. Oh, yes. And to the right. And oh, dude, it made it to the end. It made it to, like, the bumper and the back. Wait, can we get more speed? That is as close as it's come. Like, if we could just force it through another, what, six inches? Like, I just think it's going to be glued to the axe, but it's going to be like a cut in half. All right, here we go. Come on, I just need a little bit more speed than the first time. All right, slow it down. Oh, we bought him out really bad. Might have to get a little bit more high-powered vehicle, and it's there at the end. It actually looks like, is that the transmission that it got stuck on? What did they get stuck on? Wait, dude, hold on. It's actually fully through. Yeah, when you look at it, the wings through, everything's through. Okay, so if I were to pull it, and this is where, you know, you kind of prove that you can't actually cut things like this in Beam and G. Uh, it's just the way the physics are. Yeah, because I'm actually stuck in the blade. <laughs> I am really stuck in the blade. That was so good, though. I mean, the only thing I think of doing is if you could find something fast enough that would pass through the whole thing. But what happens when it gets out the other side, I, I don't really know. Like, that's a good question. Do we think that the hot knife is going to actually make this better? I don't know. Okay, and full speed. Oh, uh, it looks incredible. All right, here we go. I'm going to aim directly for it, slow it down. We're a little low. I think we'll go all the way through because it doesn't quite touch the ground. So, boom. Look at that. It just slices and then <laughs> right into a wall. Uh, did it split in half? No, it actually held on. It's uh, getting a little bit toasty in here with the knife. You know, I feel like we got to do something really big. What if we did a semi-truck and trailer? I think that would work out well. All right, we have a tanker full of uh, explody liquid. Let's go ahead and give this a go here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be cool. And getting some decent speed. And here we go. Slow it down. Oh my goodness, it ripped off. I uh, actually blew out some of the tires. And oh! <gasps> Wait, that was so good. It like sheared it completely there. Huh? So I think this vehicle had the added benefit of the cab being able to come off the way it does. It launched the cab. It actually cut the uh, the tanker too. Like, oh my goodness. Well, there's the cab. Look at the tanker. Look at the damage it did to the, uh, basically the front of it when it sliced it. It doesn't look like it went all the way through though, but nonetheless, that was uh, pretty impressive. All right, we're trying the other knife, and oh, okay. That might have been the most satisfying one yet. The way it sliced through, oh, we actually popped the game. Um, you know you've done good when the game does that. Uh, yep, <laughs> definitely broke it. Dude, that was so good. So yeah, I indeed think the downhill is helping here. So it would be a shame if we didn't maybe try the truck on this. Um... I think it'd be a miracle if you hit any of the obstacles. I think the best chance might be the spikes here. 
Okay, this is gonna be like the water treadmill of death here. That thing is moving so fast. All right, can we hit the spikes on the other side? That's a good question. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to come back to this. Oh, it ripped the trailer off. Uh, all right, nope, 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 come on, come on. Uh, I think we'd actually do it and, oh yes, it worked. Wait, where's the, hold on. Where's the tanker? Uh, I think it, oh, it definitely launched off the side. Oh, there's still pieces coming through. Oh, come on, tanker. Get, get on the, the conveyor belt of death here. Oh, oh, it's trying to go. And, oh, uh, this thing is really brittle. All right, we got it. And, oh, there it goes. And now it's stuck to it. Perfect. Okay, so we have some other objects here. I think we would have to place the cars over it. I do want to try this axe here and drop something. But uh, if you look over here, got a, uh, a car blender set up. Um, definitely like this. Uh, Spieler was talking about maybe doing a dedicated blender map, which honestly might be kind of cool. So yeah, I'm hoping nothing's able to pop out the wall there. Okay, we're gonna drop a Legrand on this. So I'm gonna use the editor. We're gonna just position it over it. Uh, we'll go boom. Okay, do we wanna drop it like this? This actually might not be bad. Uh, let's wait until it gets a little closer. That way I can figure out if I'm actually over it. So does this actually work is the question. Here we go. Uh, let it fall down and it happened on the other side of the blade. Okay, it should be a pretty clean hit here and oh Yeah, it's gonna definitely uh, get stuck there. I mean that was pretty good though. It almost did the thing Yeah, I don't think you're going right through it, but it's definitely satisfying But you know what's more satisfying is throwing it in a blender. All right, so here it comes and oh it gets flung You know I kind of want to throw just a ton of cars down here. Like, what if I were just to copy and paste? The Legrand actually isn't a bad car as far as the optimization. Uh, I feel like I could run quite a few of them. So I'm just going to pause this. We're going to go into the editor, and then I'm going to copy and paste a ton of these. Okay, I would say that this is a pretty good start here. Um, all right, here we go. Let's drop them. And, oh, okay, it starts lagging a little bit. Oh, we have jammed the blender. Might have to talk to Spieler, and I know he's a genius. He could definitely come up with a, a solution that doesn't slow these down. Oh, we're breaking the game, actually. We, we need a gigantic car blender. Uh, something that forces its way through cars is definitely slowing it down. I'm actually kind of glad we didn't do more cars than we did there. But nonetheless, this is a pretty cool map. And for the finale, we just got to drop it down on the hot knives here. And oh, oh, that was lovely.